To get started, I just added a video and audio clip to my timeline that I like to add a flicker effect to when the beat drops. Before we begin, use this bar with a magnifying glass to make sure you're zoomed into your clip on the timeline since we'll be editing individual frames. You can also just hold down the control key on your keyboard while scrolling with your mouse to zoom in. Now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to move the time marker to where the drums come in. Then click the split tool to make a cut at the time marker's position. You can also just press the S key on your keyboard. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the time marker forward one frame. Then make another cut at the time marker's position. Now just keep moving the time marker forward one frame and making a cut at each position until you're satisfied with how long your video will flicker for. I'm going to end my cuts when the drums stop. Now that we have all our frames cut out, select every other one and press the delete key on your keyboard to delete them. Unfortunately, at this time, you can't select multiple frames at once, so you'll have to delete every other one individually. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flicker effect. But let's say, instead of having the black flicker, you want to flicker a different video on top of it. To do that, I'm going to undo adding my first flicker effect. Now let's right click inside the empty space on the timeline and select add video track. Drag a second video that you'd like to flicker above your first one onto the V2 track. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key while scrolling my mouse so that I can see all three of my tracks at once. Move the time marker to where you want your top video to start flickering. Then move your top video to that position. Now like before, we're going to cut out every frame for how long we want the flicker effect to last for, but this time we're cutting the top video. And I'm just going to delete this last chunk of my top video since I only want my cutout frames. Then just zoom in a bit and delete every other cutout frame like we did before. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flicker effect with a video overlay and shotcut. Thanks for watching and see you next time.